Several people were hurt, one hospitalized during a game called Cowboy Pinball during Saturday's Bull Bash at the Owensboro Sports Center. And we'll be getting to that story in just a moment. And we must warn you, give you plenty of warning here, that some of the video that you will see uh, may be disturbing. Uh, Eyewitness News' Mike Pickett has our story for us. Kevin Hildebrand took his family to Saturday's Bull Bash at the Owensboro Sports Center where they saw the Cowboy Pinball game. At first I thought it was going to be like a little fake bull or something running out there, but then when they opened the gate, it was a real bull. The game invited spectators to climb into the ring while bulls ran through it. The last person remaining in the ring won a prize. Hildebrand says the first bull ran its course without incident, but then a second bull hit three people. When you come out, he hit the first individual and he was, he was a decent sized guy and um, he, went, he went for a flying. And then the bull turned around and uh, hit the other gentleman, and he went flying in the air. I know he did two or three spins, and, you know, immediately they was rushing him to the side. Hildebrand and others say a participant signed waivers, and the announcer warned them of the dangers. The Southeastern Bull Riding Association put on the event. Its president, Chan Carter, released a statement to Eyewitness News, saying in part, People enter the bull poker or cowboy pinball knowing it's dangerous. That's why they are at the event for, to either watch or participate in something they find thrilling. They add a third party was in charge of the spectator portion of event and that the bull riding association had no control over it or of the spectators who participated. Hildebrand says he would go to another bull bash event, but he does not want cowboy pinball to be a part of future shows. I wish they would just leave that to the pros. Even the pros get hurt, so I don't think any uh, citizens should be down there, you know, risking a life for $100. We also reached out to the promotions company that handled the spectator events, but our calls were not returned. In Owensboro, Mike Pickett, Eyewitness News.